Hey everybody, I'm here today in the 2023 Chevy Colorado ZR2. Now this is a really cool little off-road vehicle we got here. Think of it kind of like a mini Ford Raptor or a mini Ram TRX. It's something with those cars capability, but it can fit into an actual parking space. Just, it's still a pretty big truck if we're being honest. Let's get out on the road. We're gonna see how this thing drives, handles Manhattan traffic in the middle of the day. So what you got the ZR2 package for all that money, because 52 grand for a, a truck this size is a nice chunk of change. Obviously it's gonna undercut stuff like the TRX and Ford Raptor, but you know, it's a smaller car. You, what you get is front and rear locking diffs, which will get you out of just about anything. A two speed transfer case, Got big old f***ing tires, 285 70R17s at all four corners. And what you get with that suspension is an insane ability to just hit bumps. Just, I mean, just absolutely murk a speed bump. It doesn't matter in this truck. Nothing. Didn't feel anything. Oh, here's another one. Let's see it. Let's go. Nothing. What a vehicle. Inside the truck, honestly, it's a nice place to be. You have a good amount of tech, especially what you're paying for. You have a digital gauge cluster up front, got a nice big center screen, heated, cooled seats, dual zone climate control, all your lockers here. Everything feels like a very quality thing too, which hasn't always been the case in Chevy. Chevy truck products, but everything's nice. The seats, they're really comfortable. Now they're not the most supportive or ergonomic things in the world. They're pretty flat but they hold you in decently well when you're going around a curve and you're gonna wanna be held in because there's a lot of body roll. It's a, it's a truck. It's a truck with big suspension and big tires. You're gonna feel it every time you go around a corner. Now you're in Manhattan, that doesn't really matter, but we're going on the one twisty bit of road in Manhattan, which is uh, about 300 yards long and it's just 79th Street going through Central Park. You know what Central Park is. It's the one bit of twisty road in Manhattan. And it's not even that twisty. It's kind of pretty though, isn't it? Let's drive right through. Let's drive right on through. Oh, listen to her sing. 2.7 liters, 310 horsepower, 430 pound of torque. It's not gonna win you any races. Not gonna win you any races by any stretch of the imagination. But it'll get up and go. Merges onto the highway, really no issue. And all that low down, all that torque is super low down on the rev band. So it's really fantastic when, when you get stuck. Not that you will very often because this thing has tires the size of boulders that'll keep you from getting stuck in anything except for really, really deep sand. You get a lot for your money for 52 grand. It's a comfy cruiser. You can blast around a city, mind if you don't mind the fact that it's wider than a house. You can get all your shit in the back, your friends will be comfy in the rear seats, even though this is not a full-size pickup truck. We had two people, some luggage, and a dog back there. No issue at all. Really, all in all, solid truck. I liked it more than I thought I would, honestly. I'm of the opinion that you should get the biggest truck possible to prove how manly you are. That is, that's a Chevy Colorado ZR2. I liked it. Thank you guys for watching.